If I gave you this equation over here and I asked you to find the y, sorry, the x intercepts, how would you do that? Well, you would make y zero. If I asked you to find stationary points, well, at a stationary point, that's a point like this or a point like that, that's where the gradient is zero. So you would have to take the first derivative and you would make that equal to zero. So there I've said you would, to find the stationary point, you would make the first derivative equal to zero. So surely something happens if we make the second derivative equal to zero. Well, remember in the previous video, we said that the second derivative is all about the shape. And there are two main shapes we encounter, shapes like that, which is concave down, and shapes like that, which is concave up. So concave down means that f double dash x, like that, will be negative. And when this is positive, then the graph smiles like that. So what happens if that f with the two lines, if that is equal to zero, so if the second derivative is equal to zero, then it means that it's not like this or like that. So then what would it be doing? Well, it's called the inflection point and it's the place where the graph changes from positive to negative or negative to positive, like this. So we can see that over this interval of the graph, it's concave down, it's going more like this, whereas on over here, it's more like that, so it's concave up. So somewhere in between those two places, it must have changed. Well, yes, that place is over here. This is where it changes from concave down to concave up, and we call that point the inflection point. So to find an inflection point, you take the second derivative and you make it equal to zero, because at that point, it's not concave up, or concave down, so we can think of it as being concave zero. So in summary, to find x-intercepts, we make y zero, and to find the inflection point, you make the second derivative equal to zero. So if we are given this equation and we are asked to find the inflection point, then we need to find the second derivative. So the first, we have to first get the first derivative though, so that'll be 3x squared plus 4x plus 4, and then to get the second derivative, we'll just take the derivative again. Now, if we want the inflection point, we have to make the second derivative equal to zero. And then we just go ahead and solve for x, and what we would find is that x is gonna be equal to negative two over three. So what that means is that at the point x equals to minus two over three, the inflection point will be equal to, or sorry, that will be an inflection point, and that is a point like this, where the graph switches from concave down to concave up, or from concave down to, con or from concave up to concave down, which would look like that. So that's also an inflection point. So here's another one. They tell us for which value of x is f of x concave up. Well, we know concave up means second derivative positive. So we need to first find the first derivative, and that's going to be equal to 3x squared plus 4x plus 4 once again. And then the second derivative is going to be equal to 6x plus 4. Now many students are so tempted to always put a 0 in the place of f of x, but that's not what we are looking for this time. We want to know where the, the, the second derivative is concave up like this. Now remember concave up means it's like a smiley face, which means it is positive. So we're going to make this expression, we want to know where it is positive. So we will do that. We'll make an inequality then we will simply get an answer of x being greater than negative two over three. So what that means is that the graph probably does something like this. So negative two over three is probably over here. So when x is bigger than negative two over three, so going in that direction, the graph is concave up, and there we can see it is smiling. And when x is to the left of minus two over three, the graph is concave down, which is the sad face like that.